My name is Cash Small Martin, and I'm your weekly Badger. What's up, Badgers? And welcome back to another episode of The Greatest Show Ever, your weekly Badger. Today we have a very, very special guest here, Mr. Cash the Small Martin. Cash, how you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Listen, a lot of people requested you on the show. There's a lot of people every week yeah. people telling me, can't bring Cash this on. So, you know, Cash is here now. Yeah. You better not hey, you disappoint. You got me here. You, got you better me not here. disappoint. <laughs> hey, I'm excited to be here. Appreciate you for having me. Yeah, so you, have you watched the show before? Oh uh, yeah, I watched a couple episodes before you actually you actually asked me to do it. So okay, okay, that's pretty dope stuff. But like, first question is like, you know, where were you born and raised? So I was born in Toronto, and then I was raised in York Region. I moved around through York Region. I was in uh, Vaughan originally, then yeah. I moved to Richmond Hill, and now I'm in Markham. What is your ethnicity? Uh, so I'm part Spanish, Filipino, and Bayesian. Dang, yeah. that's a mix. Nice though. That's mix. a mix. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. How long have you been playing basketball? Uh, my whole life. I've been playing basketball ever since I can remember. My parents put a basketball in my hands since I was small, and ever since that, I've been dribbling and shooting and shooting something like that. My thing what, with it. what influenced you to play? Started playing. Uh, my family, honestly. My dad was a basketball player. My mom, my grandma, back home in the Philippines, uh, she actually, her family owned like a, a professional PBA team. Oh, wow. A professional league in the Philippines, and. Ever since that, like just being around the game just made me love it. Just, I noticed that your family is always like at the games and stuff mm -hmm. like that and always supporting you. So like, what is that support system? And like, what does that mean to you? Uh, it means everything. I mean, ever since I can remember any games that they could be at, they were there. Um, thankfully that we're here in St. Catharines, we're not too far from home so they can make the trip up. And um, I just enjoy having them in the crowd. Like I want to play, if they're not there in the crowd then I know they're watching me online and I just want to make them proud and, and go hard. Now you've been playing at Brock for how long? Uh, this is my fifth year at Brock, yeah. Mm -hmm. What made you commit to the Brock basketball program? Now, I know your coach that you know, recruited you back then is not the coach now, so what made you commit uh, to Brock? So that Coach Kissy was a big part of my recruitment. Um, he followed me heavily through high school. Uh, I had a couple of tournaments in the States, and he actually came out to the States, which made me be like, yo, this guy really wants me to wow, come here. Wow. Like, and then on my recruiting visit, he sold me on this pitch. He was like, um, we don't we don't need you here, but we want you. Mm. And I think that that really hit home for me for some reason. I don't know what it was, but the fact that they wanted me here and I, like they wanted me to be a part of the team and be a, like an instant impact and play mm -hmm. uh, was a big part of my decision coming here. What's your like pregame song that you listen to? Pregame song, ooh, I got a couple. Yeah, a couple. Got you gotta a couple. tell us, you gotta tell us. Oof. I messed with Lil Baby Global. I don't know why, yeah. but that's been one of my like pregame songs from a while. Um, I listened to a lot of Biggie Smalls before the games. Okay. Um, J. Cole, I don't know. I feel like a little bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Yeah, everything. Bit, I get that. Yeah. After the season, like, what are your plans with basketball? Or um, like hopefully that? take it professionally somewhere. Um, okay. I've looked, in, I've looked into the, to like Spain leagues because I'm part Spanish, so I was working on getting my Spanish passport. I'm also part Filipino, and they have a pro league in the Philippines, mm -hmm. so looking into that. Um, I don't know, just trying to explore my options after after yeah, the season, yeah. focusing on the season and then- Still got time to think about that Yeah. Too. What team would you say is like the hardest team you guys have played against? So far? It, like in like the season year? and let's say in general, since being, this is your four years of playing. Okay, so right now in the season, I think the toughest team we've played so far is probably Lakehead. They just bring a different type of, like they have different, different players that do different things in comparison to other teams. Um, and then overall, the hardest team I've probably played is probably Carlton. Carlton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I got that, I got that. So, yeah. You know, but you guys are looking well this season, so, you know, Thank well polished you. defense that. and everything you guys. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited. You know, guys, make sure to also watch the games as well, too. We follow sure. Brock M Basketball on Instagram and stuff like that. Keep up to date with the team and whatnot. So, like, we're going to move on to our next segment here. Don't All right? Do uh, you said you watch the show, so you should know what's coming, though. Yeah. You're fast on the court. Yeah. You know, I see you, but are you fast <laughs> outside the court now? Uh, this is the speed round. This is the speed round. All right. So I'm going to say a word. You got to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Dope. Let's do All it. All right. Ready? Basketball team. Los Angeles Lakers. Shoes. Kobe's. Number. Nine. Instrument. Flute. Soda. Canada Dry. Song. Uh, J. Cole, uh, Middle Child. L um, celebrity Crush. Celebrity Crush. Whoo! Boy, <laughs> I'm going slow on this speed round. Uh, celebrity crush. 
I don't even know. I'm just gonna go with Beyonce. The uh, last question though, if you could eat dinner with one person dead or alive, who would it be and why? Kobe. I think he just brings so much that I could I could learn and he's just a, been a, like a big influence in my life in terms of basketball and playing basketball and wanting to be the best. So definitely Kobe. Nah, I respect the answer. Kobe's also one of my like favorite players as well. You know, have him up on my wall. And, you yeah. know, made me love basketball, like the hard yeah, work, same. determination, everything like that, yeah. winning mindset, is that something that Everyone should have. Mm -hmm, for so, sure, I agree. For sure. All right, so we're gonna move into our, our next segment. So it's called Eureka Badger, this or that. So I'm gonna okay. say something, you gotta tell me this, this or, or that. that. Awesome, all right? All right dope. So do uh, Donda by Kanye West or Certified Lover Boy by Drake? Certified Lover Boy by Drake. 100%, 100%. McDonald's or Wendy's? <sighs> McDonald's. Little Baby or Gunna? Little Baby. Nike or Jordan? I know you're a big sneaker Ooh, hat. That's tough, that's tough. Gotta stick with my Jordans. Apple juice or orange juice? Just apple. Burgers or pasta? Probably burgers. Instagram or Snapchat? Instagram. Math or English? Math. Last but not, but not least, if you had a superpower strength, um, would you choose speed or strength? Probably strength. Strength. Yeah. Why is that? Because I'm already fast. I feel that. I feel that. That speed round is you know? something different you know? though. <laughs> We're gonna move on to our next round here. Let's do it. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, guys. This is the time that everyone's been waiting for to challenge Daniel around. So Cash, this is a challenge, all right? Let's do it. So we're gonna start on this baseline here. Cool. We're gonna move all the way down there to the end. You're gonna go down there, you're gonna bottle flip. All okay. right, before you pick up the ball. Nice little flip. flick, all right. You know, if you don't get it in three tries, move on, get the ball, go in and out the cones. No cheating. Yeah. And then from the blue three-point line, take a three-point shot. And you know, if you miss it, you can go put it back up for the rebound, but first basket and wins. Okay, all right. You ready? All right, let's do it. Yo, you ready? You count it down. Oh, first shot. First shot. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, man. Game of Yo, honestly, good job. Good win on, on the challenge. You really thought you were going to win, though. I'm not going to lie. I did, bro. My shot, I, like I said, I didn't warm up today. But I'm not going to lie. I got nervous when you hit the first bottle flip, but then I knew your shot was a little broke. <laughs> so I was like, I'm good. I'm in the bag. But I don't know, bro. It's the ball. We're going to play the ball, though. Yeah. But honestly, like, it was great for you to like, come on the show, talk I to me, you for chop me. it up, and just you know be real and stuff like mm -hmm. that. It's always good to have, you know, a badger on the show. For so, sure, for sure. So, I, yo, best of luck on the season, stuff like Appreciate that. Appreciate that. And again, guys, make sure to kick, check out the games as well, too, all right? Appreciate it. My name's Cassius Small Martin, and I'm your weekly badger. <laughs>